Hello YouTube vinyl community, music collectors, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a while since I made a video, but I thought I'd come on and uh, do a video. It's uh, Sunday here. Uh, today is May the 5th, 2019. And um, first of all, I'd like to say, man, April went by so fast. I'm going to show in this video just one RSD item that I picked up during that time of the RSD I think it was like later on that day when the crowds calmed down and I went after um, it got slow in some of the music stores and just to see what was left now I have one CD to show a couple of box sets so let me begin with Lee Morgan's search for the new land on Blue Note CD I haven't opened it yet I just got this today um, this is one of my favorite uh, um, albums by Lee Morgan. It's so good. It has Wayne Shorter, Grant Green, Herbie Hancock, Reginald Workman, and Billy Higgins. I highly recommend this one. Um, I haven't looked to uh, get a vinyl copy, and in, and in this case, I went with the CD, which these Blue Note CDs, I highly recommend. They sound really awesome. Um, one of the RSD items that I did pick up was the Doors before they broke on through. Band from Venice, 1966. This is really good. I like this a lot. One of my favorite things that I do like is the Baby Please Don't Go and the uh, early of the uh, version or track of the song Strange Days. So this is a, one of my um, RSD items that I picked. I only got two, this one, and the other one I couldn't find. It's the David Bowie single that's blue, and it has uh, David Bowie with the Rebels, and it's the tune Just a Gigolo from some movie, but I'm not for sure. But uh, yeah, I got that in the Bowie single. I also picked up uh, yesterday, which was Saturday, um, Barclay James Harvest and other short stories on Sire Records. This is a really nice copy. I waited, and this record store that I go to called B -A B L K Vinyl, which is about five minutes away from my house, had a ten percent off. It was their one year uh, anniversary, and so I went by and did some digging over there and picked that up. I'm glad to have that in the collection. Um, this one was a one, this box set that I picked up was one that I picked up on the internet on eBay. It's Sandy Denny, Who Knows Where the Time Goes, a four record set. And uh, this is really good stuff. It's just the various things, uh, some demos, live recordings and uh, I haven't got a chance to listen to it but uh, everything in it I'll just show you one of the items it comes with this really really nice booklet so yeah I've got that on a very good deal uh, on the internet um, Everything's still intact. The records are in very good shape. I'm going to um, see about storing this a little bit different. I uh, kind of right there a little bit might split, but it's all in good shape to my to my opinion. Next, I uh, picked up the reissue, um, first time release is what I understand of uh, Herbie Hancock Flood, Herbie Hancock live in Japan. It's a nice reissue. Nice artwork. Um, some of the band in that time were um, uh, Herbie Hancock, uh, Paul Jackson, Mark, uh, excuse me, Mike Clark, Bill Summers. They do some really good stuff here. Maiden Voyage, Watermelon Man, Hang Up, Your Hang Ups. 
that's a good track but yeah this is a really solid solid album and uh, today I, I uh, traded for this one so I'm glad to have this in the collection um, a couple of other things that I picked up were some uh, Queen reissue I'll say this Queen is my second favorite band maybe I'll do a video and show my Queen vinyl I don't have a lot of Queen stuff but lately here I've been picking up some of these reissues a few that I have picked up are half mastered these sound good in my opinion but this is news uh, excuse me news of the world Queen now, one of my favorite album covers I haven't played this one yet but uh, I also let me see if I can grab it real quick here put this here I have it also as a news of the world as a nice I don't know if you can see that very well Japanese CD pressing this CD pressing holding this all wrong sounds very good on CD I'm really uh, a happy camper with that one then I got the uh, Flash Gordon the soundtrack music by Queen and I really enjoy listening to this why because it's like listening to the movie and there's just a lot of good music Queen did for this soundtrack so and the last item that I have to show now when this back in my early days junior high heck back to my early teens I never did own this but I think I had these from what I could recollect I had them on cassette the, um, the John Lennon Yoko one albums you know like uh, the one I'm about to show wedding album uh, life with the lions and I can't think of the other ones but I did have those in cassettes and I used to listen to those um, in my opinion I consider them and Vanguard I enjoy them I know people have opinions don't like them whatever don't maybe don't even see the point but uh, I'm a fan I like I picked up uh, the reissue of John and Yoko wedding album I still haven't opened it um, it is on white vinyl um, it says limit, limited edition it's the 50th anniversary reissue of it uh, it's remastered it's got all the original souvenirs uh, whatever it came with it in the first time it was released and a download card again I'm a fan I like this stuff that John Lennon did um, early on and um, I can appreciate it um, uh, I know a lot of fans uh, don't dig it not too crazy about Yoko Ono whatever that's fine I love I am a fan of Yoko Ono so when this was coming out I was glad to add it to the collection well for right now that's all I have to show um, I'll be back soon to do another video I want to wish everyone well and uh, I hope everyone has a good month of May I know I'm getting ready to gear up because in a couple of more weekends me and my wife will be heading up to the record convention here in Texas and we look forward to that and uh, maybe uh, run into some uh, um, vinyl community friends out there well this is uh, Edward aka Prog Rock Tommy thanks for watching thanks to the new subscribers and take care everyone <laughs>